the title communication difficulties the project is the objective is the purpose is to share some aspects of her first experience as a Toastmasters mentor. Wow, interesting to hear. Welcome on the stage, Anna Saltis. Dear guests and members of Red Service, have you ever heard about mentoring program in Toastmasters? Who could, could please raise your hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, who had or maybe has a mentor? Please raise your hands. See some. And who himself is or was a mentor? Oh, Denise. Nice, nice to hear. So I can see that quite many people know about mentoring program here. But for those who don't know, I would shortly explain what is it. Mentor is a person who can help you to achieve your goals easier and quicker. And uh, what I can tell, if you want to have a mentor or to be a mentor yourself, you can go to our uh, current VP, Sofia Kuzina, and uh, ask her about it. And cooperation of mentor and mentee can be very useful and bring a lot of advantages. But it also can be a disadvantage. And uh, now I'm going to share with you my own personal experience of being a mentor. And I have to tell you that all this started quite a romantic. And to go on with the story, I need the help of some women, who may be girl, who are not afraid to be a volunteer. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes? Yes. What's her name? Kate. Kate. I remember, but everybody should know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kate, imagine. You are telling inspiring speech about benefits of mentoring program. And you end with uh, a call for participation in this program. Imagine. And here, a charming guy from members of your club comes up to you, stands on one knee, oh my God. take your <laughs> hand, looks into your eyes gently and says, Catherine, please be my mentor. What will be your answer in this situation? I'm all yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> you see. So, I was as stupid as Kate. I also told yes. And this was my biggest mistake. No, it was my second biggest mistake. The first one was then I tell, told yes to my former husband. <laughs> uh, all the romance ended at this exactly moment and difficulties and problems began. The fellow was always busy and sick. He forgot everything, his promises. Deadlines. He told me tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. I was disappointed. I was very disappointed. But from this experience, I came to three main conclusions. And the first one is it doesn't matter who you are, matter or mentee, you have to identify clearly how you see the relationship, what your expectations are, and what you are willing to do, and what you are not going to do in any way. For example, I am not willing to write speeches for my mentees in any way. And hence the second rule. Before you 
are going to cross the river, you have to discuss your expectations with the guy or a girl and establish the rules of the relationship. How often are you going to meet? How will you get in touch? How many times you are going to ask your mentee? Then you will bring me your speech. And the last rule is, in any situation, please be adults. Don't behave like a naughty little child. Your mentor is not your mom and dad, and mentee is not your child. And finally, I have to tell you that my experience, my first experience in mentoring program, being a mentor, wasn't as nice as I expected it to be. But I still confident that mentoring program can be very useful for both, for mentor and mentee. That's why I wish you guys to participate in to this program in any capacity, and let's do it better. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Uh, Anna, do you have any, any comments uh, regarding the Victory Day or the World War? Uh, or the I, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay.